Hello. Hi, Linda. Hey, everybody. Thanks for the card, Linda. You're welcome. You're welcome. How are you doing today? Me? Yes, you. Okay. My, um, you've met my Hadley friend, Kay. Yes. Janice. Yes. She, um, she had to, she had to euthanize, have euthanized her young cat today because she had a really bad case of FIP, which is almost mm -hmm. unfixable. Mm. That's, I mean, and she's just in the past year or two had to deal with two elderly animals. So it was all a bit much for her. Mm. This must be Susan. This must be Susan and Joanne um, is coming. She, when we had the um, tropical storm, there was some damage to the fiber cable on Montague Road. Oh. So they're oh. without internet today. So um, Joanne was going over her daughter's house. Okay, and I see Susan Gomberg is on her landline, so we should hear her just fine and vice versa, I hope. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we, we can't see you, right, but we can hear you. This is okay. Janice. Yep, and here's Joanne. Let me just... Mm -hmm. Nice view of your study, Janice. <laughs> With all That's the mess. I like it. No, it looks really good. Doesn't uh, look and all this stuff. No, it oh, doesn't. Randomly back there. Oh no! Yeah, I you ought to see mine. The books and everything. Yeah. Okay. Joanne is coming. Susan. Yes. I have a question for you. This is Susan. About um, Hello, community lunch last year, you attended once. Did you attend more than once? Um, I don't remember, but that's probably correct. Okay. Good. This is Janice. We were trying to compile a list based on memory, which is not easy to do. Actually, I, re I remember making something with zucchini and then bringing a salad on a day when everyone brought salad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And there were six salads. Those things so happen. I think, so I think I attended two. Yeah. Oh, oh good. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. okay I'll change that. There was also a day when we had nothing but desserts. So, <laughs> so I missed that one. Yeah. Me, so. those, those were rare. Usually, it kind of came out okay. Usually, yeah. So you're going to move uh, Susan G up. Yep. Okay, we have a whole little chart. I think so, although I think that lowest category is attended once or twice. So oh, you're right. Yeah. She can stay in that. I sent that list around to everybody, but only at the last minute. Right. Linda, I sent it to you mm -hmm. uh, earlier for your comments. Did you get it? Yeah, I just, well, I just, um, I just, I just saw it now because I've been working all day. Um, I so sent it to your um, home. Jonathan, yes, yes, exactly. That's, that's why I have my home email. I, I'm on, I unmuted, but I, I don't have the video. Maybe it's there. There you are. There you right. are. I got it. Thanks. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm at my daughter, my daughter and son-in-law's house because Montague <laughs> Road is down, is down for the night. Um, oh, dear. There was a big tree down and it did some damage to one of the um, cables and they're repairing it tonight. So, uh -huh. but I'm here and it's working. So this is great. <laughs> it is. How are y'all? Okay. 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 Linda. Okay. All right. <laughs> How are you? Oh, fine. So are we waiting for Sue Gomberg? She's, She's here. here. She's here. She just doesn't have a camera. Telephone. Oh, she's on the uh, on phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. And the time is, please. I need the time. Five thirty-four. Five thirty-four. Thank you. I don't have a clock in here. I have the clock on my computer. 
I it's I have to maneuver to get to my computer. Mostly. <laughs> get out of um, full view. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Um, so to start, um, we have introductions, I think. Mm -hmm. But I didn't hear back from Avery, so I guess we don't have introductions. We okay. have to do a roll call, right? Yeah, to identify ourselves okay. by voice. I okay. thought that's what that was about, actually. Oh, sorry. I was just identified ahead. myself. Okay, Linda. Lin what? Lin Linda Ava Scott. Mm -hmm. Joanne. Joanne, Joanne, Joanne. <laughs> Joanne talking stick. <laughs> Susan Gumberg. Susan Millinger. I don't know if I got in there or not. I'm Janice Gray if I didn't. Okay. Okay, we're here. <laughs> okay, moving right along. <laughs> yep. Um, no introductions. So fiscal 21 officers, Linda, would you like to explain? Yes. How about mm -hmm. minutes? Can we deal with the minutes? Not yet. Oh, okay. Sorry, I need to dig yeah. out the actual agenda. Um, so we had next FY21 officers because when Joanne and I were um, preparing for tonight's meeting, we it was re recognized that we did not um, do the traditional, um, you know, yeah. plan for officers for the new fiscal year at our July meeting. So it seemed like we better do that. Yep. So, so there we are. Um, so what's the procedure? Well, it's really, um, what we would have to make a roll call vote to determine chair and secretary, because those are our two offices. Um, but so it's really, you know, like, do we want to continue? Mm -hmm. And we, we'd like to continue to be co-chairs, correct? Mm -hmm. so, so we just need a motion. Um, if everybody's okay, every, you know, the, is, if everybody's okay with Joanne and I continuing to be co-chairs, we're happy to do it. Move that Linda and Joanne continue to be co-chairs. Co yeah, I second, second that motion. Oh, so does Susan Gumberg. <laughs> okay, so then we, we would need a roll call vote. Um, so go ahead, uh, Susan Millinger. Uh, aye. Janice Gray. Janice Gray, aye. Susan Gomberg. Gomberg, aye. Joanne Bernhardt. Aye. And Linda Ava Scott, aye. Okay. And then um, I can move that uh, if Susan Millinger is willing to continue, that she be um, our uh, COA for the fiscal year. I mean, COA. Secretary to the COA for the fiscal year. <laughs> I'm willing to be secretary unless someone else would like to take it over. <laughs> Don't everybody rush out. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Second. Okay. And so we'll have a roll call vote, which would be Susan Millinger. Aye. Millinger, aye. Janice Gray. Aye. Susan Gumberg. Aye. Jan, uh, Joanne Bernhardt. Aye. And Linda A. Scott. Aye. Okay. Done. And who, second, who seconded? Sorry, did Joanne, did you second that? I seconded, yeah. I thought. Thank you. And, um, and so now, <laughs> minutes for the 812 mm -hmm. meeting. Motion. Um, I move that we approve the minutes of the 812 meeting as amended by Susan Millinger. Okay, hang on a second because I have a question about the amending. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Linda pointed out to me that the Shutesbury Educational Foundation left the money for the Aging in Place Task Force. I believe that was the same. Yes. And I made that change once, but then 
um, I, I changed it back in the motion because I was very uncomfortable changing the language in a motion that we had passed. And the oh, original wow. motion said it was go, the money was being given to village, the Schutzberg Educational Foundation had intended this for um, village neighbors. So I would suggest that we would need to make a change by vote in this motion. I don't, I don't know, what do the rest of you think? Um, I thought the issue was changing the name to the Aging in Place Task Force, which you did. Yes, except you uh, see, I made a later change. And these are probably, um, I thought I sent these minutes out to you, but maybe I didn't send you the last revision. Um, that was my last revision that I got. But I haven't been on the computer all day, so if anything came in today, I don't know what it is. Well, I think what I did is I put okay. it in red. I got it. I Yes. I put it in red because I wasn't sure. And then... Okay, that, that's what I have in red. Yeah, okay. Aging in Place Task Force. Linda, you would know that. So, um, hang on. I have to look at my other computer for this. Um, okay. You, do you want me to read it? I have it. I, I've got it. I just have to... That's why I'm looking over here because it's on my home computer. Um, and while you're looking, I yeah. just, this is Janice. Yeah. Uh, technically it's the Shutesbury Education Foundation or was. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. It's, and I hadn't caught that till just now. The okay. letter, it's correct. Well, hang on a second. It says the Education Foundation in one paragraph, but it doesn't in the, in the, um, in the sentence in question, the motion. Thank right. you, Janice. Right. Thank you, Janice. Sorry about that. No problem. That's why we do this. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, what do folks think? It is the only issue here. The. Shootsbury Education Foundation as opposed to the Shootsbury Educational Foundation? No, the issue well, is whether we call it the Aging in Place Task Force, um, which was not the language that we passed in the motion. So I, I'm, I'm confused about that because I know that I knew that it was not Village Neighbors, that it was the Aging in Place Task Force. So okay, but I don't, I'm, I, that's so that is that's just a I, I can't remember back to the meeting specifically but i i and i don't want to disagree only that i i would have corrected the language because i knew it was not village neighbors that it was aging in place task force because village neighbors was not in existence when the donation was made um, it, it, um, well, you know, in my minutes, when I was, I try to get the correct language. Yeah, yeah, that's why I when I write down the motion. Yeah, yeah, I trust you, Susan. So that's why I, I don't, I, you know, I'm, um, I think we can correct it, leave it as village neighbors, and then correct the, correct the vote tonight. Okay. Does that make okay. sense to everybody? Yep. Yes, Janice says. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. This is Susan. Thank yeah. you. Okay, yeah. and I'll make that change. That's well, that's you know you that's what you wrote down and I and I you know I, you're you're so. And I may not you know I may just have written it down because that's what I was assuming we were talking about too. You yeah. know I may have not really we heard. Have, we have to talk about it more later anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, so Joanne, what do we do about the minutes now? Joanne made a motion as as um, as amended. Um, 
they've just been amended again. <laughs> so that's Joanne's motion is accurate. Yeah. And so um, we just need a, we need a, I don't know if, did, if we had a second. Janice. No, I don't think we did. Okay. Janice does. I second. Oh, okay. So for any further discussion? Good. So shall we vote? Yes. Susan Millinger? Aye. Janice Gray? Aye. Su Susan Gomberg? Aye. Joanne Bernhardt? Aye. And Linda Ava Scott? Aye. Thank you, Thank Susan Millinger. Thank you. Okay. So Foot clinic. Foot clinic, yeah. And anything, anything there, Susan G? Um, nothing. I've had nothing, no doings about foot clinics since the last meeting. One thing um, I do, I, at the time, pri, pri, I, had the la I had an appointment with Sue, I think it was prior to the last meeting, and she did say that in October, the price of a home visit is going to go up to $90. So if, and she seemed quite definite about that, um, she although she was confused about how much to charge um, some people before she got to me that day back in August, I guess. Um, but she was quite definite that the prices are going up. Um, so if, if we did continue the $30, then somebody having a visit at home would have to come up with 60. Right. So, um, and thinking, thinking about the whole foot care thing, I'm of two minds. I have benefited from having two visits, but at the same time, I know there's some people in our foot clinic who can't even, who couldn't even have afforded the $30. So I know just to put it out as a discussion, is it something that we would continue not continue. I I just don't know. Hmm. Um, so I just have one one factual um, observation is that um, since um, foot care by nurses began the the home visits in lieu of our in person clinic, um, they reduced the price of their home visits to from ninety to sixty. Right. So now they're going back to their ninety. That, that's what Sue Miller, the nurse, did say, and she was quite definite about it. Yeah, okay. Yep. So, um, <sighs> may I Linda, add? What, was, what was our agreement with them prior, or, you know, before the, the quarantine, et cetera, um, just to see what, how it's different from what they are proposing in the letter you got? Um, Say that again, please. What was what was or what what is our agree what was our agreement with Foot Care for how we paid them or how much back when we had clinics at the town hall? Okay, when we were having um, clinics at town hall, we we were um, paying them. It, we were paying them thir thirty. It was thirty-five dollar. You know, the pr the cost of a foot of a visit for a returning client was thirty-five dollars, or the donation was thirty-five, and a, and a new person was forty. That's the agreement that we had uh, that David had negotiated with them, and I believe that was to be in place for a period of time, recognizing that for clinical care by nurses was going to have to increase their prices for um, clinic at some point. Um, we, when someone needed a home visit, um, I don't, I'd have to look way back because there were only a couple of times that we that the foot care nurse made a home visit and that would have been to Muriel Gross. Um, and um, I don't remember. I think it was fifty dollars at that point, and we we pretty much paid you know 
I, we paid whatever the difference was from what the donation was in that case, like all the, like everyone, um, like we do for anyone who, who doesn't pay the full donation. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay. I somehow had in mind that it was started at $30 and went up to 35. Is that wrong? Am I just blanking out on no, the- you're, you're right, it, you're right. Yes, but oh, they okay. had wanted to negotiate, they had wanted to increase it even further and David bartered. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Um, ah. But that would have been a couple of years ago. And so, you know. Yeah. I had a s experience like Susan's when I had, when Sue came to my house, I think Sue came to me first at around 8.15. Um, uh -huh. First of all, she thought that we were paying the full price she didn't know that COA was was chipping in, um, and then and she told me she's quite disappointed that we down hall is not open. Um, right. And she also told me she signed me up for November and told me it would be ninety bucks, and I agree with you. She's that was it. Yeah. It for right. home yeah. visit. Yeah. 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 Um, how so many people? How many people are we talking about now? I would it's under I would say it's under ten the people who have had appointments um, some like myself have had them twice um, but I'm I'm guessing it's it's under ten overall yeah, I yeah. Could, well and I could be wrong ten to twelve I'm trying no. to remember of those that I've heard yeah. of gone and how many per month it varies per month yeah, yeah it varies okay um. I think it was can, one one month and six the next. Yeah, something like that. If you can, want, I can, can we get can up. we get a can we get a number? Yes, an estimate number. Yes, from here to one, I'll get it for you. From here to January first. Uh, I can go back. I I can hold on. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, so I can just read them out for you. January 8. No, I mean the home visits, not the- Oh, home, visits. home. So that started in- June? June, yeah. June? Hold on. May. April, May, June. Okay, let's look at June. June, we had, there were three. Three in June. Um, one in July. And six in August, according to minutes. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh, Linda. Um, August. The minutes say six, which Susan reported last time. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you it it was it was it was um there were five home visits and one office visit. Uh-huh. And I questioned the office visit because it was on the um uh invoice was only for $15 and um the client had paid um uh uh you know more. Um so that, there was only a fifteen dollar difference, and um, there was one person who paid the sixty dollars for a home visit in August, and that person was reimbursed their their third the overpay of thirty dollars. Oh, good. Yes. Thank you for pursuing that. You're welcome. Yep. Yes, Vanessa uh, Vanessa Eastman, who's my contact at Foot Care by Nurses, um, took care of it right away and apologize for that having happened. Well, I have to confess that I wrote a check for 30 because I had forgotten the raise, the raise to 35. So I owe somebody five bucks. No, 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 because the home, we agreed that the cost of the, the foot care by nurses reduced cost of a home visit was $60 and that our COA would pay 30. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we need to speak about going forward, what we want to do. Joanne. Um, I, I think um, we may need to table the discussion until we address the grant money and see how much we have um, to subsidize the, the, the cost because a, a raise from 60 to 90 is considerable when um, you know you would ask people to pay more and we would pay more and that's that's fine but we have to know what we have in order to be able to make the decision of how much to subsidize does that make sense yes Jenna says okay it, yes and, and we, right and we need and I want to consider um, how we might meet the needs of people who cannot afford even the $30 piece right that right. would be important to me that we yeah. um, address that unmet you know the people who are not getting their needs met because they can't afford yes yeah I agree um, okay so uh, oh. So I make a motion that we table the foot, foot care, foot clinic uh, subsidizing until we have information about our grant. Uh, do you mean, uh, Joanne, uh, do you mean later in the meeting? I would, I would think we could address it later in the meeting, okay. but I'm not sure. I'm sorry okay. to say. So, so let's table the, this, table the topic until after we talk about funding. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So we don't need a motion? No. Okay. No. No. As, as long as everybody agrees, we're, we can, yeah. Um, all right. So the next, the next item is the village neighbors, um, the money for village neighbors. And we had a figure of 900 and whatever it was. But Linda, you said you found a different figure. So yeah. That's so, so I... Then the, um, unfortunately, I don't, I don't have my um, COA financial report up um, from the last meeting, but the $943, Susan, do you have the number right there? Yeah, 946.93. Right, correct. 946.93. So that number was derived from the actual balance in our revolving fund, meaning that money in, money out from the foot clinic left, which is, you know, an e equalizer, um, left that balance. However, I went, I was going back through um, old minutes and I found that two references to the balance for the funds donated from Shootsbury Education Foundation to be $874. Um, and that both of those references were when David was the chairperson and involved in the Aging in Place Task Force. So I, um, I feel comfortable you know, with whatever you decide, knowing that we have to at least do a minimum of eight hundred and seventy-four dollars. Um, eight seventy-four. That eight was seventy. Eight hundred and seventy-four dollars, even. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, whether we do that or we do the, you know, the money, whatever that other money is, I don't know where that extra yeah. money came from, um, uh, but never. <coughs> Um, I think <coughs> some of that money might be money that was um, a balance of our bingo adventure. Ah. <laughs> um, you mean you mean the difference between the eight seventy four and the nine forty six? Yes. Okay. Yes, I think that might be what's left from our bingo thing. Okay. Su Susan. I think in any case, I would like to propose that we take it back up um, to the original thousand dollars given by the Shrewsbury Education Foundation, because um, it wouldn't be that big a chunk out of our monies. To the, just, only, to, the, to only problem, the only problem is that the Aging in Place ta Task Force spent that money. 
Oh, okay. They spent it they themselves? Spent the difference. We did not. Okay. They spent the difference. Okay. Before, before the Village Neighbors was established, the Aging in Place Task Force bought supplies, um, you know, mailing labels, envelopes, postage, yeah. plates, cups, things like that. Okay. Um, Thank you. That, yeah. For that clarification. So which number do we want to go with? The, the 874 or the 946? Or 900 even. Yes, that seems like a good suggestion. Okay. <laughs> All right. Janice laughs. I'm recording. <laughs> Okay. So we need a motion and um well let's 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 wait a minute because we we're 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 dealing with the are we dealing now with the letter that, that we drafted to village neighbors which has two issues in it. For, well first we need to vote on our amount. Okay. So then we can do the letter because then we can make the letter right. Okay. Is that right? Are we good for that? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so does anyone brave enough to make the motion? <laughs> I do. Um, I, I move that the Council on Aging um, return, what's the word? Oh, return $900 to village neighbors that was initially proposed uh, initially given by the Shutesbury Educational Foundation to the task force on aging. Is that correct? Age, aging in place task force. Aging in place task force. And Shutesbury Education Foundation, not educational. Yeah, Education Foundation. Yep. Is there a date on that? When the money was given? Oh boy. Um, hang on. Um, Wait a minute. Doing operating two computers, I'm a little bit silly. Um, it'll just take me a minute to look that up. I did have it the other day, and then I don't know what I did with my notes. I seem to remember a date, this is Janice, of 2017. Yeah, I, you know, I think you're right, Janice. Um, I don't know where I saw it, though, um, unless it was in an email. It's about a new is, figure. Um, shoot, I had, I had. Maybe, maybe that doesn't matter right now. Maybe we can fill that in later. Well, um, I do have a question about the use of the word return. Yeah. Okay. Can we find a better word? Please. Send. Give. Transfer is what it says Transfer. in the letter. Okay. Transfer. Transfer by check. Well, I can't find it at the moment quick enough. I don't want to hold us up. Um, okay, Susan, can you can you read that back? Except, and do we? I'm motion sorry. is I'm so bad about procedure. Can can we change the word to transfer? I did. Okay. Moves that that a motion is that COA transfer nine hundred dollars to village neighbors that was initially given by Shutesbury Education Foundation to the Aging in Place Task Force. Okay. Second. Okay. Um, yes. Um, and just, it was um, noted in the January, <clears throat> January 6, 2016 meeting oh. minutes. Um, 
that um, David announced the $1,000 donation to the Aging in Place Task Force from the Shutesbury Education Foundation. Okay. okay. Ah, so it was even earlier. I stand corrected for wherever that 2017 came from. So roll call vote. You ready? Yep. Susan Millinger? Aye. Janice Gray? Aye. Susan Gomberg? Aye. Joanne Bernhardt? Aye. And Linda Ava Scott? Aye. Okay. Um, and so um, the procedure is that um, um, that we would we can either attach these minutes when they're approved to um, a warrant um, mm -hmm. to be give to, given to Gail Weiss, our town accountant, or um, we could um, empower Susan Millinger to write a statement saying during the this meeting we voted to get, you know we just did vote what, what we just did yeah yeah and then um, I think that should work I, I, unless we want to wait until October and. Oh, approve the minutes. And then attach it to a warrant. So it would be October when we did this or um, November. <laughs> By the time it's paid, maybe. I, I think we should ask Susan to to draft a letter. Um, yeah. Because there 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 will be a lot more in the minutes that are not that's not relevant to this issue. Right. Right. Yep. So um, I make a motion that Susan Millinger um, uh, write a statement relative to the vote we just took um, to be uh, to serve as our request for the nine hundred dollars to be transferred to the vill to village neighbors. Do we need to say, this is Janice, do we need to say who this letter is going to or is it understood? Oh, sorry, this letter would be attached to the uh, warrant to um, be submitted to the... Um, Where's the warrant coming from? The warrant is what we call our um, invoices. Okay. It's but a particular, it to... particular form that we fill out and it's called, we call it a warrant. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to do that? Yes, I will do that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So is it okay if I just, it's pretty straightforward. Can I just run the, the language by um, Linda since she's the one that's doing the warrant? Is that acceptable to everybody rather than running it by everybody? I mean, yeah. it's basically just a restatement of what we just, of the motion we just passed with an introduction. We should have a second on the motion to um, uh, discuss. I second. Thank you, Susan. Um, so, the idea of doing it this way is to be efficient and be able to move, move, you know, make the um, transfer sooner rather than later. So I'm, I'm, that if everybody's okay, is everyone okay with that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Yes, Susan. Okay. So we, so we should vote on this. Susan Millinger. Well, I'm not really sure what the mo the language of the motion is. Do you all need to know precisely what it is? I just said, oh, okay. So I said that, um, m that I move that Susan Millinger be empowered to um, draft a statement reflecting the vote we just made to be attached to the warrant slash invoice um, for the transfer of $900 to village neighbors. I'm sorry, what was it after warrant? Warrant slash? Invoice. Invoice. That's for clarification. Okay. Since, you know, not everyone knows what the, 
or it means in this case. Okay, so there's no to serve as a request language in the motion. No. I don't know what you mean. Okay, so what I have is uh, the motion is made as Susan Millinger is to draft a statement reflecting the motion that we had just passed relevant to the transfer to of money to village neighbors to be attached to the warrant slash invoice to transfer the $900 to village neighbors. That's adequate? Okay, just checking, because I had some different language down here at a different time earlier. So, are we ready to vote? Okay, Susan Millinger? Aye. Janice Gray? Aye. Susan Gomberg? Aye. Joanne Bernhardt? Aye. And Linda Davis got I. Okay. Thank goodness, because I have I received an email from Elizabeth Fernandez O'Brien asking about when we were going to decide whether we would give village neighbors money or not. And I wrote back and told her we'd be considering the topic during tonight's meeting. And today I received an email today asking me if we had an, if I had an answer. <laughs> You're a little bit pushy there. Yeah. No comment. However, this, this money is not what they're asking for. No, it isn't. Yeah. It isn't but I didn't, I didn't. Well, but it's, but it's money. I did not go there. I just, you know. It's, it's a one-time benefit. Yes. Um, yeah. And what they're asking for, I think, is a commitment. We can't make a commitment. To a certain amount. Right. So, Nobody can make a commitment. Lord. So should we look at um, Joanne's letter now? Yep. This is Janice, Janice, and I thought it was very well done. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. 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 Thank you, but I think it's not now accurate. That's what you, well, yeah, but yeah. So, other than that, but you no, said there I were mean, two things. I mean, the $900 is easily changed. Um, and we can put in the date of the minutes, January 6, 2016, when the money was transferred to the Aging in Place Task Force, mm -hmm. just for clarification. Um, the second paragraph is dealing with their um, request for a, uh, I think, a commitment of a, don a donation. Um, they asked for $1,000. Uh, my response was, we don't know what's happening with our grant yet. Um, and uh, I do have some information on the grant, although it's not final. So um, do we want do we want to table this bit, it, which, which is a financial piece as well, along with the foot clinic financial piece, uh -huh. until I can tell you what I found out about the grant. Sounds good. Thank well, Anna says that makes sense. Susan? But we are prepared to send them this money, which they probably need. And the letter said that we weren't quite ready to make a commitment. Right. So. But we might be at this point. Well, if, if we are later, then they'll be really happy. <laughs> but as okay. it is, they're getting some money from us, you know, yes. as soon as possible. So I okay. guess I would I would prefer that we went ahead with this, which isn't dependent on our grant. Okay, as is, right? Yeah. Okay. That would be my that would be my position. I don't know what other everybody else thinks. I would agree with that because I I don't think the final word is in on the grant yet. Yeah, and I, I'm not I'm not I I'm I'm not ready to um, think about additional funds at this point until we know a little bit more. I, 
like like Susan M said, we're going to be giving them <coughs> an unexpected gift, you know, nine hundred dollars. Um, so it's something, um, and yeah, we start there, and then if we right. find we can donate them to them something else, then we can, right? Yes. Right. But I have to say it's pie in the sky for them to think we're going to make a commitment because I'm really convinced that we are not going to get as much money in the I mean, next year. The state budget is going to be a mess. Well, Joanne does have some news for us. So, um, oh, that's good. But that's no, I mean, we can't plan ahead as to, until the economy really gets to be back normal. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I totally I totally agree. I think it's great that we have some that we can give them money that of course was, you know, for the aging in place task force. And it's $900 that they wouldn't have had otherwise at this. And I mean, they have it, but you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. They're not yeah. expecting it. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we good? Yeah, it says yes. Okay. I think this is politically savvy. So Joanne will fix the letter up to make it current. Yes. And um, um, shall we include the, should we send the letter separately? Can we, I mean, these are fairly simple changes that Joanne is going to make. Can we approve the letter in advance with the changes Joanne intends to make? Yeah, why not? So she doesn't have to come back to us and the letter can go out when she's ready to send it? Mm -hmm. Or you and she are ready to send it? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't know where my brain is, but I was thinking that we already um, agreed that Joanne would draft and I would, we, but never mind, I'm right. Um, so, do we have a motion? Do you want to make a motion, Susan? I don't know that I'm so good about making motions. <laughs> Move that a COA approve the letter with the changes that Joanne intends to make so that it can be sent out fairly promptly to village neighbors. Is that acceptable? I think basically it's just a matter of changing the amount from $946.93 to $900. Well, you were talking about adding the date. And the date of the, of the dispersal to uh, aging in place. The original gift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the yeah. original gift. Yeah, okay. and just updating the letter because, um, you know, it says at our next COA meeting, we will propose and vote Well, we already, you'll adjust that language. So, right. Yeah. To make it up current. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would also propose striking the parenthetical question $53 or yeah. statement $53 and seven cents having been spent on supplies for meetings. Okay. Because then they'll say, well, wait a minute, the, the numbers don't match up. What's going on? Yeah. Good idea. Okay, so do we have a second? So may I, so the, the motion now says, COA, move that COA approves the letter written by Joanne with adjustments to, to the language to make it current. Thank you. I second. Thank you, Susan. Okay, roll call vote. If there, is there any further discussion, I should say? No? We're would would you like me to send the amended letter out to all of you or just to Linda to send on? I think just to Linda personally. Yeah, just it would be nice to have a copy in our, you know, Gmail yeah. account so we can see it. But okay. Yeah, and it and it, we should have a copy um for the for the record with attached to the minutes, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um okay. So uh, roll call vote, Susan Millinger? Aye. Janice Gray? Aye. Susan Gomberg? Aye. Joanne Bernhardt? Aye. And Linda Ava Scott, aye. Okay. Um, 
All right. So um, we, I don't know why, but we don't have a funding up, we don't have a funding update. Do you want to give a funding update, Joanne? Oh, there was a, a grant, grant funding was one of the issue, one of the, um, Yes, it's supposed to be on the on the agenda, but for some reason to be on the agenda. That. Yeah, yeah. But that's well, I think statistics. I think that's where yeah. it was because yeah. right, that's right. It is yeah. because we were we were working on the worksheet. Yes, right? yes. So maybe um, we should go there instead of talking about the library. Let's hear your what you've got to okay. tell us first. Okay, this is a little convoluted. I'll I'll try and be as clear as I can. I've been searching over the websites of the Executive Office on Elder Affairs and the Massachusetts Council on Aging to try and figure out what the actual grant application procedure is, okay? Because we, we got confused with the worksheet, which Linda found a copy of in her files, and, and then we were all consumed with getting all the numbers on the worksheet of numbers of volunteer hours, numbers of our participants, numbers of service hours, numbers of people, you know, people served. And what, what I found out by looking at the whole thing is that the worksheet has nothing to do with the grant. Okay. So to back up in, um, the, the grants for the councils on aging are called formula grants. They're called that because it was voted in 2019 to, uh, to structure the awards to COAs with a formula of $12 per elder. Um, and the number of elders was based on the 2010 census. Okay. So Shutesbury had in the 2010 census, as noted, 312 elders. Every town gets it a minimum, got a minimum of $6,000, no matter how many elders you had or didn't have. Okay. When you move beyond the point where the $6,000 doesn't match up with the $12 per elder number, then people got more. So people in larger cities would get $10,000 or $12,000 or however, you know, however many dollars it came to at $12 a head. Shootsbury has gotten $6,000, okay? So the grant is based on $12 per elder according to the 2010 census, period. Period, okay. Period, okay. There is an application procedure for this, which I have not been able to uncover. I, I, it came up, I got it once on my computer with all of the pages of it and I had to run out. So I left it up on the computer and my computer decided to delete it. And I have not been able for the life of me to go back into those. I mean, I've been going daily to the websites to try and find it and I can't find it. I, I did email Nancy who is the head of the COA in Wendell to ask her if she could shed some light on this and I haven't heard back from her. Okay. What I did see with the grant application in a very quick perusal of it is that the last thing on the grant application is the worksheet which is labeled as annual EOEA -E Executive Office of Elder Affairs annual report. Okay. That's what the worksheet is about that we all saw. Yeah. And that, when I went back to look at the annual report of the Massachusetts Council on Aging, the data that was listed on that worksheet is, appears in the Massachusetts Council on Aging annual report to the EOEA. So that's what that information is used for. It's used yeah. for the annual report. It does not have any bearing on the grant. Hmm. Oh, interesting. But, but, but it needs to be turned in with the grant application. Because okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense because somewhere I, I read we have to submit our annual report to EOEA and I thought, 
do they want our annual report that we put in our town report? Or written. Oh, it's that worksheet. Okay. That worksheet. Got it. Okay. Got okay. it. Well, that, okay. this is so helpful. Okay. So that's what, that's the basis, right? Yeah. Okay. Then um, there's a, a contract. There's a page that you can access with contracts for every town in Massachusetts. So there are 350 different contracts. The Shootsbury contract is a one page document that lists Becky Torres as the administrator that comes down to the bottom with amount of $6,000 and she signs it and the Massachusetts people sign it and that's the contract. Okay. Yep. Apparently the contract can be filed anytime within the fiscal year. So the last day that the contract could be filed would have been June 30th and you still would then be eligible for the $6,000. This is just anecdotal stuff. Um, yes, it's helpful though, gosh. Yeah, okay, so, which, w w so when our grant application didn't go in until January, February, something like that, okay. That's, okay. that's okay. It doesn't have to go in until the last day of the fiscal year. We want it before that, of course, but you know, because we don't know how much we're getting. Okay, so the next bit of information came from something that Linda sent me, an email that came from the Massachusetts Council on Aging. Um, and, okay, so this is very interesting. In previous years, we have had to submit the balance, the unspent balance of the grant. In this case, this year, somewhere close to $3,000. We've had to submit that by the end of August to the, I don't know where it goes, EOEA, I guess. Yeah. Okay. This one, I will read this for you because this is really interesting. Okay, COAs receive formula grants. The formula is the $12 per elder. Based on the current US census information of 2010, in order to support local activities consistent with the purpose of the appropriation. Effective immediately, the formula grants issued as a result of the fiscal year 2020 General Appropriations Act or subsequent legislation, COAs will no longer be required to submit the final grant balance to EOEA at the end of the fiscal year. Ooh. So that, that means for us, we do not have to submit are whatever $3,000 that's left over to EOEA, the deadline of which would have been the 14th of August, but we don't have to do that now. Okay, and here's the nice bit. Beginning in FY21, which was beginning of July, contracts will be issued for the full budgeted allocation. The contract I told you is this one page thing, okay? and will no longer be offset by the prior year's final grant balance. Nice. So in other words, we get to keep the 3,000, roughly $3,000 that's left over and we get the grant on top of that. We don't have to report the amount left over and we get the grant on top of it. If the grant is $6,000 as it has been before, which is the piece we don't know yet, we would therefore have close to $9,000 for the year. Which we wouldn't okay. spend. <laughs> um, okay, so um, any, uh, let's see, any COA that receives a formula grant, that's us, will continue to be required to execute a contract with EOEA, which is the one page deal. Yeah. COAs will not be required to submit any additional documentation to EOEA once the contract has been fully paid. Once the so contract has been fully paid? The contract is the 6,000, last right. year it was the 6,000. Right. The contract just says we're giving you $6,000 sign off on it. Okay. And okay. that's. So we're not, we don't have to submit any further documentation. Um, so I don't know if that means, I don't know what further documentation means in this yeah. case. It's a little still, you know, there's still some mysteries here. So number one mystery is, has this, the Massachusetts budget been finalized? Because when we went to our town meeting 
on Saturday, they said that the Massachusetts budget was giving the states, giving the cities the full amount that they had received last year. Right. I, I was looking today and it said that there was, a, that the budget had been passed for a three month period. So it yeah, doesn't, say it's, doesn't say it's been passed for the whole year. Okay, so I can't find anywhere and everywhere I look it says they don't know yet what the budget for the COAs, what the grant for the COAs is going to be yet. Okay. So I don't know if that's just a lag in them um, filling up the, the website with information or if the three month period of reimbursing cities, the full amount is for the full year or for three months. So, so there are still unknowns out there about how much we're going to get is the bottom line. Okay. But, um, and that application for the grant is in there somewhere. And I put in every combination of words I can think of and I can't find it. It, it was like six or seven pages of stuff. So it's not, it's not a small thing, you know, right. But, but the, the annual report worksheet was definitely the last three or four pages of it. Okay. So we still do need to do that. If that, has if that becomes the new application grant for FY twenty one. Okay. Okay, that's that's Woo. all I have. <laughs> uh, wow. Oh thank that's you. quite a work of exploration. Have have you considered calling the elder affairs to get some answers or to try I, to get some answers? I could do that. Um, you know what I, I know you never know when you're calling a bureaucracy whether you're actually gonna find somebody with who knows the the facts. They're all still trying. They're all still work. They're all working from home. There are all the <coughs> offices continue to be closed. But I bet you there's a. I bet you there's an a, a line, an answering line, and somebody answers the, the yeah, call. Yeah, I, I just you know I just right. So it's no one may answer, but we could leave a message and ask to be called back. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I can try that. Uh, what, where I was, where I ended up looking this morning was on the FAQs, and a lot of people were asking questions about the formula grant. The latest posting on that website was the end of July, so we do not have the answers for August of, or September. All they said was we don't know yet, you know. Okay. So yeah, um, and and I I I guess I assume that they will be sending an email message to the COAs telling them, okay, now you need to apply. And right. here's, here's the link to the application. Right. In, our case, in our case, it will go to Becky. Right. So, so we need, we need to see the application. And I, I think that the collection of data that we've been doing, pretty much is going to take care of the worksheet, the annual report worksheet. I just don't know what the rest of it looks like. That would be the, the question to ask then. Is it possible to see, to get a copy of the application? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I wonder if it would do any good to contact our Senate or our representative and try to get their help. I, I don't think so. I think it, it's a whole it's a whole statewide thing. I mean, I know they're you know they're 350 towns. They're going to do some kind of of announcement to everybody. But like Linda said, it go, it's going to go to Becky, not to us. Right, because she's right. Our, she's our listed contact person. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So when when I there there is a there is an email link. Um, for all of the contracts, these are these one page contracts that um, goes up to 2020, but not for, it's not updated for 2021 yet. Mm. So, so I, I, I have to assume that it's not yet been finalized. Mm. However, the, the issue of that we could be getting, we could have in our account somewhere around $9,000 $9, may influence what we want to do with the foot clinic 
and what we want to do with village neighbors. Yeah. Assuming that the med ride and the um, the luncheon and um, assuming that the foot clinic really is the only thing that will keep going for a while. So what do we think about that? We think we don't know enough yet. Okay. Um, about the grant. Well, we, we have, we have some money right now and we could make a decision, a short term decision, meaning a month by month or a two month decision regarding the foot clinic. I think we need to do that because that's our only active, um, you know, this is the only thing we can offer to um, Shootsbury seniors is, is foot care right now. And mm -hmm. um, to me, um, we have money. Um, and there's that. But I also know we also have on our agenda a request from the library, but I don't have any specifics on that. Do you, Joanne? Oh, she didn't, she didn't email you? No. Nope. Oh, I asked, I asked her to. Yeah, no. Um, she, it, th this was an email that I sent to her to ask about the senior nutrition program, oh. which now has four recipients. Oh, nice. Wow. That's which is great. great. That's great. Yeah. And in, in the answer to me, she said, would we be willing to fund to fitness classes from October through December. Um, one, I think, would be Kathy Sword's uh, fitness, and one would be a oh. yoga. They would be they would be virtual, as the one this spring was. And I guess it's going on through the summer. Um, but we funded the one in spring at five hundred dollars. Okay. Kathy is give, Kathy teach, is teaching a yoga class and she's giving this summer to the uh, town. She's donating. Right. But yes. Now it's September. So <laughs> it ends in September. September okay. Oh, it does? Okay. Okay. Yep. So, hey, so Marianne <laughs> asked for $1,000 to fund two classes from October through December. So that would be October, November, December. Um, at $500 each, which would be $1,000. Right, but we do not have a request from her in writing. I, and I asked her to send you an email and she didn't, so. Um, um, something's going on, maybe a personal thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, didn't want, I don't want to get into it because I don't know what it is. It could be just her hot water heater, but she's been busy. Okay. Yeah, because the email, there was a town announce email today that um, there are no library services today and tomorrow. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I don't know how anybody else feels, but to me, we, we, I mean, we, we do, I appreciate Joanne's report, but we really do need to have something directly from Marianne mm -hmm. um, to make a decision. Okay. Yep. Well, there's time for that if she wants funding for October. Mm -hmm. yep. There's time. Oh. Well, this yeah, there was a September meeting. This is the September meeting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah um, we're meeting on the 14th. Okay. October. Um, right. Um, but, um, well, we'll know if something is more timely, we can always have a sooner meeting if, we, if Marianne needs us to consider it sooner. Um, okay. I will ask her again to submit a request. Yeah. Okay. So theoretically then, if we have around $3,000 left and that's $1,000 for the two classes, we have $2,000 left pending the 6,000 that we might get. <laughs> We're gonna get something. We're gonna get something, right. Yeah, yeah. So, right. so, so looking again at the foot clinic, um, do, do we have an estimate of how many people it would be for September, October, November, December? I don't, I don't know that we can give an accurate estimate um, unless we just go back to June, July, and August and just guess at the same 
amount of people might do these other months. Because mm-hmm. some people, some people have not um, uh, taken advantage of of any, and then. Um, it was back in August. I got phone calls from people who have never responded, and then said, "Oh, by the way, how would I make an appointment if I wanted one?" Mm-hmm. And I don't know that they made an appointment, but they're somebody who hadn't responded to any of my um, other phone calls or emails. So, you know, they might pop up, they might not. So, I, so I don't know. Unless the only way to make a possible estimate was is to look at the previous use in the months that have gone by and just say, well, that might happen again. So, um, of course, I read the numbers, but I didn't write them down. So, <laughs> um, I think it's, well, it was I nine for six. July and August. So how many was it for June? Oh, I thought we talked, we gave, I thought I looked at that. Um, you did. So. But I didn't take notes because I didn't figure it was it required. Hold on. Well, we've been doing every other month anyway, right? No, it's no. I mean well oh you mean people wise. People the clients. Wise. The clients. Yeah. yeah. Um some do every three months. Okay. Are are there people who ha- then who have not been um, taking it, make, taking advantage of the home visits because they just really can't afford anything? And what numbers yes. are we talking about there? They, to me, will be um, the most important people. Uh, one for sure, um, possibly a second. So not that many, but um, I don't know. Um, some people just don't answer. Uh, back before I had emails, I would talk to them um, I would leave a message and just, you know, sometimes I would get them on the phone, um, just like, you know, calling to remind people about appointments for the clinics and the town hall. So in this process, sometimes I would talk to people, but a lot of times it's just been um, leave a message and then that's that's all I, I mean, I, know, I don't know any more than that. Mm-hmm. So, so at this point, we have one definite and one maybe of someone who might need full support. Right. And so if we think about that, um, and so if they, we're talking about a four month period, right? And, um, and so if they, you know, there were two people um, at 90, that's $360 if they can't pay anything. So, you know, that would be- but how, how often would they? I just figured they'd need two visits each okay. in four months. Mm-hmm. Is that what are the right? four months? Are we not doing anything in September? We already have September um, through the end of September is um, already taken care of. Is all, at the yes, okay. right, right, Susan Tomberg. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So we're talking about going through January. Well, I just said uh, till the end of the year. September, October, November, December, four months. But you said September is already taken care of. With meaning. The- meaning Meaning, um, we know that at, at least what I understood from um, Vanessa Eastman is that the sixty dollars is good to the end of September. Okay, so we're looking at October, November, December mm-hmm. of the increased rate. Mm-hmm. Okay, Susan, um, have you signed people up for September? I, I have um, to run away. I'll be right back. Um, I I don't sign people up. You just or you call them. But have you called people to to make their own September I, I did, When when we um, it must have been in August. At some point, the you know the news came out that it was extended through September. I did 
email or call everyone to let them know that the sixty dollars price with thirty from us was good till the end of September. Um, but I I don't know how many people have appointments in September. Okay. Gotcha. Right, because they make their appointments through Full Care by Nurses, so they can coordinate the schedule there at their office. Although, j just to be funny, some people insist that I may I have made appointments for them, and I have to convince them that I have not. And well, I think that they're they're getting confused with Sue Miller somehow getting okay. in the mix. Yeah, because it's the Sue the Sue business. Right, the Sue business. You did call me and tell me there was an extra space in August. Did I want it? Yes, but that was special. Okay. One time <laughs> offer. Sorry, I just thought that was the way it was. One time <laughs> offer. No, no, that, that happened because at the previous meeting, you had said you were thinking about making an office appointment yep, or something. I did. Yeah. And I then agree. I heard from, and then I heard, and then Sue called me to tell, remind me of my appointment and said, oh, by the way, some people canceled. Do you know anyone who would want an appointment? And oh. I thought of you. Oh, thank. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, good, good. But I, I did not realize that that was just a so unusual circumstance. I guess it I was thought unusual. Okay. Yes. So Sue made an appointment f with me for November, and she left. So she left it. But I didn't want to. I'm not sure I want to do it if it's anybody's paying ninety bucks for it. Would, um, Susan, would you say that again, please? I didn't follow your logic. About what? What you just said about your November appointment. I didn't uh, guess. Sue made the appointment when Sue Miller, when she was working with, at the end of the session, she made the appointment for me and made clear it would cost $90. And I took it, but I thought I'm not, that's too much money for anybody to pay. Right. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now I understand what you're saying. Yeah, that's why we're talking about this. Yeah. Um, you know. I don't want COA paying it either for me. My foot, feet are pretty healthy, but I think a lot of people's aren't. Well, we, when we know, we know, we know that there are, right, Susan Gomberg, we know that there are people who need care. Right. We know there's one person anyway that needs it and doesn't, can't pay. Right. Right. Correct. I also feel that $90 is too much, but at the same time, um, I just, I guess I, after having two visits with, with, you know, money from the COA, I, I feel uncomfortable personally taking anymore. Um, and I know I don't have to, it should, it should it be on offer again. Um, I don't know the best way to propose get, getting it to everybody who can't afford it because I have heard throughout all the time that we have had town you know in the town hall and since then people will come in and say oh you know it's expensive um, just recently I had an email tiff with somebody unnamed about how she had always paid ten dollars and how can the council on aging not support seniors that need care and on and on and on um, oh dear yeah however um i and you know david dan used to let her come every month but now we're not letting her come every month and you um, know, so we we straightened that out anyway but, you know you uh, just have to think that some people need people to complain to about something so you're serving a necessary good. function <laughs> yes i am but it, it just i i guess i just don't know what's the best thing to do in terms of going forward offering money? Uh, I personally right. don't know. Right. I, I, um, you know, it, I was thinking about, you know, is there a way we can do a sliding scale, but we're kind of, we're kind of in the intermediary, you know, because Sue Miller is conducting the visit and collecting the fee. Um, and So, you know, you know what I mean? I, I sort of wonder, you know, is, is it that someone could pay, you know, some people, like we operate our foot clinic, it's on an honor system. 
you know, some people pay nothing, some people pay the full recommended donation, some people pay something in between. We never ask, we just accept. Um, and, you know, granted this is for a, a significant amount of money, you know, a substantial increase from what the difference is, the difference of what we used to make up. Um, but yet, um, Seven, 17 current members times $90 is $1,530, says okay. my iPhone. Well, thanks for doing that. 1530? 1530. Yeah, at a full 90. Right. Yeah. Okay. If, if everyone took advantage of the whole 90, you know. Right. If, 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 if there everyone was a, took, had a visit and took advantage. Yeah. If there was a sliding scale opportunity, um, I'm sure people would would pay something. So, could we say um, you can have a visit? You would, you can have a home visit from the foot care nurse. Um, we would boy, how to word it. We would, you know, we would, we have a recommended donate, we have a suggested, excuse me, suggested donation of blank. Um, and, uh, you know, you pay, pay of whatever you can afford, whatever you can afford, right. Do we make this more than a one time offer? I would say it depends how many people take you up on it. Take us up on it. We could make it for two months. We could make it, um, you know, we could make it through November and, or we could make it through, how could we do it? I was thinking if we made it through November, but we would reevaluate where we stand at the beginning, you know, at our November meeting. Because we kind of have to have something in place for no, you know, for the month we're meeting, mm -hmm. we can't just leave it open. Um, but, but if we're offering it for October and November, we wouldn't necessarily know who's taking care of who's who's going to call up on November fifteenth and say, "I need my feet looked at." Does the does the nurse come out on only one day, or is it whenever yes. people want it, or she comes out on one day? Okay. So. Right, and I wasn't recommending that we would stop at the end of November. I just meant we would reevaluate how we were doing financially and what we could offer oh, I for support yeah. at our November meeting. I, I didn't mean we would we would not do any more home visits. I just meant, you know, that's what we would do. Um, re, you know, like we're doing now. We have a plan in place through the end of September. We're in our September meeting, making a plan for what will be October, November. So, so what we're proposing is for the months of October or November, current members of our foot clinic could have a, a home visit. Um, the cost is $90, and we would ask you to pay what you can towards that amount. Up to $60. Up to $60. Right? Right? Everybody? I don't know. I, I well, think... I, well, what if they... What do you mean up to 60? In other words, if they, if, um, the, the council will pay $30 of the $90, $90 cost. We ask you to pay what you can for the $60. And yes, Remain. exactly. I think it, it's that, um, we would, that the, um, the suggested donation is $60. We ask you to pay what you can towards that sixty dollars. How about if I, I I write this out and send an email out just to make sure I've got it straight? Yeah, you can say that the total the, that book care by nurses is charging ninety dollars. Yes. I think people right. need to know that. I I, I yeah. very much agree with that. That was worrying me. Yeah, yeah. And didn't we used to say? A suggested donation of thirty or thirty-five. 
Yes, but, but that but, was but that was when it was actually thirty or thirty five. Right. Okay. All right. Got it. Yes. In other words, we were paying. We uh, uh, the cost of the of a client visit was we were billed thirty five dollars okay. by foot care by nurses. I, I'm sorry. I misunderstood something yeah. in my brain way yeah. back. It's okay. But yeah, I, they need to know it's ninety dollars. Otherwise, we'll keep getting ten. And maybe someone can only do 10, but. Right, but knowing. Oh, the, heavens, I could pay more than that. The, right, knowing the full cost is important. And then, um, but that we're asking for a donation of up to $60. So is this the only program out there? I, I find $90 to be really exorbitant. Oh, Apparently, but, a, new, a new patient home visit for someone who isn't in our foot clinics was $130 back in June, because somebody called who wanted to do it, a husband of a current member, and he said that, you know, they told him new visit is 130 and I had to tell him, you know, we couldn't, he wasn't a member, you know, he wasn't a known client, so that's the amount that he would have to pay. I did run that by Linda. Yep. So, you know, it's, it's even more exorbitant to be a new client. Right. We're right. talking home visits. I think that's really expensive, a home visit. Is this through LifePath? I, I bet the nurse gets paid the same amount as, you know, in the office. Uh, Joanne, what was your question? Is this through, through LifePath? No, this is through for Care by Nurses. Oh, it's just its own thing. It's yep. their own business, yes. Okay. And, and I have to tell you that they, we received from the director, um, of foot care by nurses, a proposal for how they would like to structure in-person clinics going forward. And it's very different. Um, and we won't go there because that's not where we're at, at right now. And I wrote them and said, you know, we have no plans for in-person clinic um, for the foreseeable future. But they do, just to sum up briefly, they want, they would be charging us a base rate for the clinic and then a per client rate as well. Um, so that's down the road. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I know that there, I know other people um, in other towns who have home visits by, by foot care by nurses, pay the full amount. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if this is the only game in town because I, I know, I mean, you know, my daughter's a nurse practitioner and I think her rate for things was like $65 an hour. So if that's what the nurse is getting, then the, the, but there, she's not getting, that's their overhead. I mean, they have, oh, I know, I know, but that's a lot of overhead travel mileage. Yeah. You know, mileage. Um, and, you know, all their, all their, you know, liability insurance and all of those things. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's but a I lot. I think it's, it's, it's also makeup for the months of what, March, April, part of May, when they had yeah. no, you know, very, they didn't have the foot clinics in towns. Right. And yeah. maybe yeah. a lot fewer clients overall. Yeah. Yeah. So I, so, so I would, I will type up, um, the announcement that I'm going to let people know and I'll send it out to you folks just to yes, make sure yeah. I've got that straight. And, and so if anyone has feedback, it has to go only to Susan Gomberg. Do not reply all. So I'll I, do my best. Do we, we do need to make a vote on this. Did, we didn't vote, did we? No, we haven't voted. We have a motion? Nope. I've lost we don't have her. a motion. I don't think we have a motion. No. Um, Susan Gomberg, you want to give it a go? Um, I move that the Council on Aging um, offer up to $60 for a home visit for the months of October and November to our current clinic list.
Second. The price of a whole visit is $90, if that needs to be in there. I think that would be helpful. Yeah. yeah. To help defer the, yeah, I'm, So um, I'll second. Any further discussion? No? Okay. Susan, you ready to vote? Susan Millinger? Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Aye. Janice Gray? Aye. Susan Gomberg? Aye. Joanne Bernhardt? Aye. And Linda Ava Scott? Aye. Phew. I will get that out tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. Well, thank you to everybody for, for taking care of our town's people's feet. <laughs> it just feels helpful to be able to have something mm -hmm. practical that we can do. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to the luncheons resuming, even though I didn't participate very much. The idea of seeing everybody all together sounds really nice. It does, doesn't it? Um, yeah. And the, the town hall is going to be staying closed for, for a while more. Mm -hmm. So we'll be Zooming. Are we good? Anything else? Any, oh, we didn't do the website. Oh, Janice. If we don't want to, that's fine. I can, we, I can make just a brief update and then yes. we can look at it later. Yes. Um, so I was in touch with Gail after our last meeting. You might remember there was a question about whether the village neighbor's email address, which has villageneighbors.org in it, is a problem and it is not. Okay. So we clarified that. I updated the website to include that. I added the uh, fall 2019 newsletter, which wasn't on there. Um, and uh, Whoops, she froze. Is she Are you there? I think she is. Frozen. Just just as a caveat, I just I'm, I'm frozen. Oh. Yeah, yeah no, you are. Ahead. You're okay now. Okay, I'm seeing my internet connections unstable. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, so yeah. um, there's a box in the bottom of the page that I didn't, that it's the one that has village neighbors in it, along with maybe some other things I don't remember. And it has a, a finite word count, which I didn't realize. So I, so Gail and I, and then um, somebody else from the web committee figured out what the problem was. So I got it all to fit. Um, but we got to be aware of that. You just can't keep adding to that box, make it bigger. It won't yeah. work. Other parts you can add to. The other thing, and I sent you some examples that I received today from Gail. Yep. Is yeah. that if you go to the, uh, our current page, the way it's set up on the right is a list of officers and members. And then there's a section on minutes. And then there's a big blank spot. I'd been told by Susie Moser we couldn't touch that. This is not correct anymore, as, yeah. as Linda knows, because the, Cons the Conservation Commission and Recycling and Solid Waste are both using that spot for, and you can look at that and see what they're doing. Some of the things we were talking about, like a, a link to a Life Path article about this or a link to uh, Elder Affairs warning about COVID-19 scam calls or something. So you could do it there. Um, before I learned that, yes, in fact, I could put something there. Um, and this is just to think about for the future. Um, I, when I was talking to Susie and she told me, based on old information, that you can't touch that bottom right corner, um, we had noted that <coughs> the, um, the uh, senior nutrition program is a, takes a, a lot of space on our homepage. Yeah, And I saw we were trying to figure out, well, could we shorten that and then add this general information from, you know, LifePath, all these other places, stuff we've been talking about. 
And what we could do is in the future, if we wanted to do something like that, or just add something else to the homepage, we could do like the beginning of that article on that Marianne and maybe Joanne also wrote about the senior nutrition program, start it off, then have a link that says to see the full article, click here. And then the entire thing could be a PDF that you would link to. So you would save a lot of space that way. Mm -hmm. So that would free up some space on the website. And that's basically all I have to say at this point. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think there was, Linda, uh, did you note something about the senior nutrition program, the delivery date being um, the first one was the first, first week of July? What, what I did is when I, when I was trying to see if I could up, how easy it was to update because I hadn't worked in this program. But Susie did say Drupal 8 is a lot different than Drupal 6 or 5 or whatever we were doing in 2011. Um, mm -hmm. I noticed that it says the first delivery will be July 1st. So I took it out because that was months okay. ago. So that, oh, I could okay. edit this thing. Yeah. So that was like the first thing <laughs> I did as a test. So that is Great. no longer okay. here. Okay. Great. Good. Thank Great. you so much. Thank yeah. you so much for this. Yeah. Yeah. So Secretary Secretary's question, when you talk about um, contacting, speaking with Weiss and with Gail, did you talk to, it was Gail Weiss? Who oh, was, I'm sorry, Gail, I should explain. Gail Fleischiger of the web committee. Okay. okay. I apologize. Gotcha. And the web committee did say, and she did say to me back in August, that they are tr that trying to take a look at the whole shootsbury.org site and try to change, make changes to the pages um, and one of the changes is allowing that corner space to be used for other things. Yeah, which is great. Yes. Yeah. So take a look at those two pages. I sent you links today. Yep. And then you can say, okay, what do we want in that space? And we yep. can talk about that some other time. Yeah. I like conservation committees, what it did. Yeah, we have a, it's good. We have got a good page. Yeah, you do. Um, uh, I can tell you that uh, Gail was the original uh, designer of our page. Uh -huh. And now Penny, Penny uh, updates it. Um, so yeah, yeah, it works, it works. Um, yep. We do have one more item, which is, um, uh, you know, it's good if I could read the agenda and that um, uh, the town, the Our Town is uh, going, you know, uh, if, if we would like to put an article in the Our Town newsletter, we would like to, we would need to have that to Janice Gray by September 25th. 25th. And it's, it's going back to a paper copy in your mailbox. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we're working on um, uh, ways to be able to do that um, without, uh, you know, without volunteers. Yeah. Would so. it be appropriate to have something on the, on the foot clinic and all on the nutrition program, senior nutrition? We can't put it about the foot clinic because we can't accept new clients. But the nutrition That's program could go in there. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking it would be useful for current clients to know about what we're offering. Right, but Susan's, Susan's going to tell, tell right. them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we wouldn't want to create any You're right. problems with the fact that we can't accept anybody new. Yes. Um, so does anyone have an interest in putting something together? We do need two new members, by the way. No, one, one. We still have Melissa. <laughs> We need one, we have a vacancy, one vacancy anyway. So we should advertise oh. that. Oh, okay. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to get a guy? I guess I could, this is Janice, I could adapt the nutrition program thing a little bit. Um, to for our town the thing is there wouldn't you'd have you wouldn't have a live link in a paper document to the application 
but they can but, just type it in. Yeah. But, but Marianne has it on the library page. I, I think she has the whole thing on the library web page. That's nice, but it's not, that doesn't put it in the newsletter. No, I mean, you can say check the library page for complete information. You could also say, there's the COA page. page. How about the COA page for complete yeah. information? Well, that's but true. Janice was going to be better. Janice was going to uh, shorten it. Well, so, make it more newsletter like as opposed to this. I don't know. It depends on how much space we have. We could have a lot of space. I have no idea. Right, right. So, does that mean you're willing, Janice, to? put something together for us? Yes, but, do, and do you want to see it, the usual thing, I send it around first? Sure, that would be nice. Okay. Yeah. I am, I am stepping on other people's words there, I am aware of that, but editors have that prerogative, so. <laughs> good. Um, if, if we're good, I just want to acknowledge that we've had a, from my lens on this a really productive meeting you know really productive and um we've gone a little past our time um does anyone have anything else um before we adjourn Susan? well i sort of thought um that the mass coa was on the agenda it's um or there was a reference to its fall conference is oh, anybody wow. interested in participating i'm not I looked at it and I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm not either, but uh, on another subject, I'll tell you that Becky, I have a, um, and I'll, I, sorry, I'm, <laughs> uh, I have an email from a mass housing something. And they're having a fall conference, or it's oh. through FERCOG. I can't remember right now. I, uh, anyway, um, and they have one section. You can you can register just for a particular talk, and one of the talks is about uh, senior housing. Oh, oh, yeah, you did say something about that, and I misfiled it. Yeah. Okay. So I'll try to resend that. Um, I'll I'll send it and. Um, did I? It's in October, I think, and um, and I don't, you know, so, and if there's a fee, we can use some of our um, no. our expense line for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could use our grant, but we have $200 in our expense line, so we could use our Yeah, yeah um, I, did, I didn't save that, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay, I'll, I'll try to resend, and if I flake out, somebody say, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So, yeah. Because that seemed like, oh, <coughs> nice to get a little burst of energy on our, um, our you know, our housing. Back to, back to that. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. See, see what is being talked about. Um, one of the speakers is Laura Baker. Um, from um, She was involved in the Goshen Project. Mm, nice, mm. yeah. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so if we're all good. I, just, I, I wanted to just praise Joanne for all that sleuthing yes. on the grant yes. stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, so. We were also I supposed to report our hours for September. Right. I don't think we have, but I think you, you probably used several months worth right there. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we need to report them. Per, I, looking at the worksheet all we need is the total for the year that's okay. really all we need so and, just and keep, i'm sorry keep, to keep, keep keep keeping track on janice's sheets well, however you want to you know i thought you I, wanted us to report so we'd be honest and really keep track i don't i don't think it matters on the our on our volunteer hours i think what i was thinking of was uh, reporting the number of the community luncheon and the number of the foot clinic and the number right. of bed rides right. in minutes so that in, in looking back at that, you can go to the minutes to look up those things. Sure. Um, all, all we need to do for our volunteer hours is keep track and give a total at the end of the year. Right, because 
because um, for the staff volunteer support, it's um, 20 hours a week or more, five hours a week to 19.5, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So it's really a, a category um, of whether, you know, how many um, hours per week we're volunteering. But yes. Anyway. Okay. Yes, Joanne did a really an immense amount of research for us. Well, and had some very good news to report. Sorry we didn't get the final word, but but we're yeah. We'll we'll keep pursuing. Yeah. Yeah. So are we good to adjourn? Motion to adjourn? Anybody? I'll move. I move to adjourn at some 15 p.m. Okay. Five Second. Seconds. Yeah. Okay. Susan Millinger. Uh, yes. Yeah, aye. Janice Gray. Aye. Susan Gomberg. Aye. And Joanne Bernhardt. Aye. And Linda Ava Scott. Aye. So thanks. Before, everybody. We, before we go, I don't, I don't know how many of you um, are tied into Mary Elise and Sterling Lamette, but Sterling Lamette passed away a few days ago um, after Aww. they moved up to Maine. Um, and I know I, I call Susan M, but um, yeah, he, he was suffering very, very badly from Alzheimer's and uh, uh, it was much more sudden than unexpected, but um, in the end, a blessing that he didn't have to stay in the state he was in for very long, so. Um, if anyone, uh, I have their address. If anyone is yes, oh yeah, yes, please. Yeah, I, I'll I'll e email it. Thank oh, you. Thank you. I didn't. Thank, thank yeah, you. Yeah, please. To us yeah, all, yes. Yeah, to you all. Yeah. Thank Joanne, you, Joanne. I um, I know you've lost a good friend. You and Gary. Yeah. Yeah. You. yeah. you did. Yeah. A very long time friend. Yeah. Thanks for okay, telling me. Okay, see, see you all next month. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. You're going to quit us? Stop us, Linda? I'll quit, I'll quit you. <laughs>